is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I bring you guys another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Mono Bug playthrough. If you guys are hyped for this episode and want a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, simply hit that like button down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and then leave a comment down below. What shiny do you want most in Kanto? And I said in the last episode, if you didn't see it, go check it out, that I would do my absolute best to find a shiny, and my luck was unreal. I tested out the new comboing method, and what do you know? I found a shiny, and here's a random Pidgey as I'm talking to you guys. So I'll kind of show you guys what I got here. Let's just roll the clip now. Let's show my reaction to my first shiny ever, and let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I think that's it. I think I got it. I think that's a shiny. Is it the shiny? Yes, shiny Weedle. We got it. Oh my God, the first shiny for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. After all these years of catching shinies. It is still incredible to find one, and the first one in the new game is a shiny Weedle dude. We did the combo, we got it to 31, and we found a shiny Weedle improved. How to shiny hunt in this game? I am so pumped up, baby! Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we got a Razzit, and <laughs> we definitely got a Razzit. Oh my gosh, let's use our Raspberry. And then I actually picked up some Premier Balls just in case. Let's use this Premier Ball. And let's not choke this shiny. Oh my gosh, dude. Chain combo. Catch combo is 35. We found it, dude. A shiny Weedle, man. I got the combo down. I got the mechanics down. Oh, man. I'm pumped. All right. Let's do this. Oh, I have to get, get ready. I'm so nervous, dude. I don't want to choke this. All right. Please stay in the ball, dude. I razzed it. I'm using a sick premiere ball. Come on. Yes! Dude, we just caught a shiny Weedle, let's go! Oh my god, I'm so pumped, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I gotta check this thing out, dude. Oh my gosh. Catch combo 36, so the combo continues, which is important to know, so I can keep going. But shiny Weedle is officially ours. Look at that beauty. Oh man. Let's go. That's incredible, that is incredible. That's incredible. Weedle goes to the box. I gotta go check this thing out now. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, let's go to uh, bag. Let's go to Pokemon box. And it should be at the very bottom. Uh, where is it? Does it not indicate that it's shiny? Wow, that's weird. So it doesn't show shiny in the, uh, in the sprite. But that's the one right there, and it's got a plus speed minus defense nature, which is uh, hasty, I think? Right? Hasty? Yeah, hasty nature. Likes to thrash about, which means it has perfect attack. And it should have actually all perfect stats, dude. Okay, I need to figure out how do I mark this thing. Change markings, make a favorite. That's, I think that's what I needed to do. Wow. There it is, dude. Shiny Weedle, man. Put it in the books. Let's go. Hit that like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new. Woo! All right, now that you've seen my first ever reaction to a Shiny and Let's Go Pikachu TV, I gotta show it to you. It is B-Drive here, which is wonderful. This beautiful, beautiful, shiny little Weedle. Hasty Nature was actually pretty good, and, uh, you know, obviously I found him here in Viridian Forest. Got that beautiful star, and I favorited him to make sure I don't lose him anywhere. I've also got, uh, obviously, our little uh, Twilight here, and then I've also got Beyonce on the team which is also holding it down and uh, has Peck and stuff instead. So I'm gonna keep these three. I actually have boxed everything else. So those are our Pokemon and uh, let's jump right into it, man. Let's jump right into this episode. Quick question of the day for you guys is, uh, what shiny do you guys want most in the Kanto region? Look at our shiny Weedle following us, man. It is incredible. I love it. Let's go battle some people and let's go just enjoy the game, man. I'm so excited, guys. I'm going to have a uh, shiny tutorial available ASAP. You guys will check that out. I'll break down how to get shinies in this game and all that good stuff. Bug catcher, Rick, you're about to get wrecked, man. I'm going to be honest, man. You got a Caterpie. Yo, Peep, my beautiful shiny Weedle. This is actually going to be the first time I'm ever sending it out in battle. Look at it in all its beauty, man. It's got that. The star looks incredible. I'm so pumped, dude. I'm so pumped about it. All right, let's go for that poison sting. Power, dude. So, Shiny I wanted most in Kanto. It was actually Shiny B Drill. Maybe Shiny Pinsir, though. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's a chance I have to go for Shiny Pinsir later on in the game. 
I have no idea. I mean, chaining for Weedle wasn't terrible, or comboing, I should say, for Weedle wasn't terrible, because it's an easy-to-catch Pokemon. But I would imagine if I tried to go for something a little bit tougher to catch, like a Pinsir or a Beedrill or whatever it may have been, uh, it would be significantly harder to do. So, again, I haven't really experimented too much, but I'm really excited to kind of uh, continue along here and, uh, you know, continue the shiny hunt and whatever else. And uh, I'm going to be doing a shiny playthrough as well on Twitch. So you guys have seen part of that already that I've been doing on uh, the marathon. So that's going to be something that is also going to be uploaded to YouTube as well if you're interested in kind of checking out a uh, shiny playthrough, a shiny badge quest, essentially, if you want to call it that. Um, but in this one, man, I just wanted to get, I always love getting at least one shot in my playthroughs. It's just, it's so special and, uh, I had to, I had to do it, man. I had to do it. So one thing I wanted to check out a new mechanic that I haven't checked yet that we can do. And technically my, actually my Weedle chain is still going, but one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go to my bag and I want to go to my Pokemon box. So let's start with that. And I want to look at all these Weedles. So I don't know if there's an easy way to transfer them all. If I can just transfer, I can send to professor. Can you just, oh, so you can actually mass transfer them. So I'm gonna do that with a bunch of these Weedles that I kind of like chained up. Cause I mean, I have the shiny one, so, and the shiny one I marked, so I won't like mess up or anything, which is nice. So if I just like mark all these Weedles here and I send them to the professor, I, let's do that, okay. I sent them all to the professor. You got a message from the professor. Thanks for sending these along. They will help a great deal with my research. And you sent me 30 Weedle. That's it, I think you've earned some candy. Candies are good to make your Pokemon stronger. So I got some quick candies, L extra large. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're gonna go into my candy jar. So let's go take a look at that. Let's go take a look at my candy jar here. Uh, candy jar. And while I was chaining, I did get some of these too. So, oh, so these are for Pokemon 60 or higher. Okay, so I can increase speed by one. So I can, okay, so he's actually gonna just, I can just pound him with these candies. We can just like legitimately hammer this dude with some serious quick candies. And he's gonna end up being really fast. So that's kind of cool. Um, I kind of want to get a different kind of candy though, like an attack candy or something. I feel like that would actually be better. But we'll we'll do that and we'll kind of go from there. I don't want to like spend all day giving him candies. All right, so there was actually a Pokeball I wanted to grab over here that I'm gonna go snag. And uh, poor little Weedle's kind of falling behind. And there's actually a Bulbasaur, so we actually haven't caught one of those. So let's do that real quick, just for our PC and kind of, you know, dex completion a little bit more. So. Let's get this tiny Bulbasaur here. Oh, no, 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 I do not want to use my Premier Balls. Uh, in this game, I found out that just like in the uh, the previous games, you can, um, you know, get Premier Balls by, you know, buying 10 Pokeballs at a time. So I ended up buying like 30 Pokeballs in between episodes while bef before I went and did my little shiny hunting thing. Uh, this thing does not want to be caught. Okay, let's see if I have any better luck here. Nice little excellent on the Bulb. Let's go, baby. Stay in there. There's some green shinies in Kanto, though. A lot of them are eh, but there's actually some really good ones. So, all right, let's actually throw it on a Raz because I, I want to just catch this thing so we can keep on moving here. Let's use that Raz. And he ran away. He ran away after a raspberry, bro? I didn't even know that was a thing. Who who made these rules, man? What's up with that? Oh, we found five Pokeballs. That's actually clutch. I wanted to make sure I snagged that because I like to try, uh, you know, to, to include everything on on the gameplay. I never went to that trainer school either, which is kind of lame. Maybe I should go back to it. Let's go, let's do a little, little, little reroute here. I never explored that trainer school. So we'll go heal up, we'll check out the trainer school and then we'll work our way through Viridian Forest. I don't mean to backtrack, but I realized that I like didn't do that and I want to properly do that. So um, let's go see what we got going on here, man. But I'm so jazzed up for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, man. I still am, I'm still excited. All right, so there's a couple houses. I never went in this house. This lady's got a little oddish too. Uh, what's in here? What do you got for me? Came out with nicknames is fun. You could change your Pokemon's nicknames in the main menu, which is nice to know. That was such a good improvement. I feel like there's such like quality of life improvements that they make to these games, and that is definitely one of them. Like the fact that the Pokemon, first of all, your box is like straight up right. You got a little oddish. You could check your main menu and have your Pokemon follow you. Yeah, I got all that. I, I figured that out. There's a gym there, but we can't go there. There's a creepy old man outside. I'm assuming there's gonna be battles in the trainer school. That's why I wanted to come back because we might as well get some, some. Uh, maybe not. Are there battles here? Eevee's a normal type. It's weak to fighting type moves. I could have told you that. Uh, maybe there aren't any battles. Maybe it's just like a really basic. Okay, so I guess we didn't really miss anything. So let's go heal real quick and then we'll kind of work our back up the, way back to the forest. So I'll cut till I get there. All right, we're back in Viridian Forest. Let's work our way through and kind of see what we can find. Our little bead drive here is Definitely struggling to keep up. He's, he's a cute little guy though. He's, he's gonna be fierce, man. Let me tell you, do not sleep on the fact 
that this thing is going to evolve super duper fast and it's going to be a monster here when it turns into a Beedrill. And I understand I'm gonna have two Beedrills on the team and stuff. And like, it's all good. We'll eventually thin it out. But like a true bug catcher, it's all good, I feel like, to have a handful of the same Pokemon. That's what the bug catchers do, right? They have like two Caterpies. Like, you know, I'm, I normally wouldn't do that. But in this case, I think I'm going to because eventually, like I said, I'll swap it out. And while I was actually thinking about keeping my... um. My Eevee for a while, I decided, you know what, we've got our bug types, we don't really need Eevee anymore. Look at those sparkles, man, just so beautiful. Okay, so I have to switch here because I'm not going to be able to really do a ton of damage. I at least have Peck with uh, with Beyonce here, so Beyonce should be able to put in some work. So let's do that. Look at that, oh my gosh, dude, this game is just beautiful, man. I'm so excited to keep like exploring it and seeing what's going down and all that good stuff. Alright, let's go for Peck. Hit it with that fierce Peck attack, okay. Not too shabby. Nice little scratch there, all right. There's no held items in this game. I was just thinking like how sick would it be if I had like some cool held items like Rocky Helmet or something, but that is definitely one of the bummers I will say is that there's no held items. Like abilities, I feel like, dude, they could have easily put them in, man. I'm really surprised they made the decision to take them out. I think they were just trying to simplify things for maybe new Pokemon fans or whatever, or Pokemon Go fans kind of coming over. So like I respect it, but I just feel like there was an opportunity. They could have easily kind of kept it going, but. That's all right. Last, Brittany. I'm sorry you got destroyed. Thanks for the three Pokeballs, though. I could use those later on if I decide to get another shiny bug type. Paris is going to be uh, available, I think, in the cave. So hopefully we'll be able to use Paris at some point. All right. Yo, you can't punk out on a battle if you're a real Pokemon trainer. Dude, I'm the real bug catcher here. Let's not get it twisted, buddy. I just want to let you know. Bug catcher Doug. All right, Doug. You got a Kakuna. Kakuna Matata. All right, well, this is, I'm gonna go B drive just to show them off a little bit more here. And then we're gonna do a little hard swap skis. And uh, oh, he's only level three, but Beyonce's got Peck, so it makes life easier. We'll go right into Beyonce here. Dude, I love just all the graphics, man. It is so phenomenal. Like, look at it. It's so phenomenal. And he's gonna get the Harden, but I feel like our Peck here is gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's see here. Big peck. And Twin Needle's sick because it hits twice and it has a good chance to poison too. So I actually didn't do nearly as much as I thought I was going to do. This is a bulky Kakuna, man. All right, let's try this again. A couple more pecks should easily knock him out. These are some pretty low levels. So definitely the best way to train in this game is going to be to catch. It's going to be to catch Pokemon. But that's the thing. You can train your team and Shiny Hunt simultaneously because you're kind of like killing two birds with one stone, right? So it's actually kind of sick that they, they, you know... It's, it's cool, because I basically put, when I was trying to get the shiny Weedle, I basically put a bunch of Pokemon in my party, like Spearow and Nidoran and stuff like that, like, just whatever, um, that I wasn't really going to use. I knew I wouldn't use it. And uh, they all gained, like, a bunch of levels. They were they were getting pretty high. They were up to, like, level 12 or so. So, All right, Doug, I'll see you later, buddy. It was it was nice getting to meet you, but we all know who the real, the real Bug Maniac is here. Okay, what do we got up here? Nice little fence action. Secret item here. A potion. Not too shabby. All right. Got to keep an eye out for our little partner Pokemon here. Maybe he'll find some stuff. He's a little far behind there, but he's doing his thing. All right. I actually didn't want this Metapod, but I could catch it. I'm going to pass on it, though. We'll just run. Because my Caterpie is going to evolve into a Metapod eventually anyway. And I want it to have Tackle, so that's fine. I do want to find another Bulbasaur, though. I definitely want to find another Bulbasaur. I didn't even see a Pokemon there. I was a little Weedle. I definitely want to find a Bulbasaur. Because I, I feel like I need to, like, I need to catch everything in this game. Like, I've, I definitely feel like I have to catch everything. Or at least, like, try. You know? At least at least try. Like, slowly work my way through it. Grab a few Pokemon here and there. Last, Jocelyn. Does she have Pikachu? No, she got a Pidgey. Depending on what level it is, it may have Gust. It may not. I'm not sure. Dude, I'm not going to get sick of that Sparkle, man. I'm not. I'm just not. Level four. Okay, so I don't think it has uh, Gus yet, so I'm going to Poison Sting. See how much this does. We are a really good nature, too. And we got... Apparently, we have perfect IVs. Like, we're flawless. So that's pretty sick. Big Poison Sting. I don't know how I'm going to beat Brock. I'm going to be honest. That's, like, one thing that makes this really tough is using bug types. Is I'm going to have to figure out how I beat Brock. And I think it's going to come down to me poisoning him. If I can poison him with, like, a Twin Needle or something, then we might be okay. If I can also get to Butterfree, we might be okay too. So I may have to do some some kind of grinding. Maybe I will do like a, uh, maybe I'll go like do a Caterpie chain and train up my team a little bit, kind of off screen. And uh, that'll help me train my team. And then 
I'll also, um, like, maybe find a shiny Caterpie in the process, too. Like, I'm not going to make it a shiny bug playthrough, but I'm not going to stop if there's, you know, shines that feel like popping up. Because it, you really don't get a lot of experience from the trainers, it seems. Like, they really want you to catch the, the Pokemon. They really want you to catch them, so... All right, cool. That's gone. See you later, Pidgey. Peace out, Pidgey. Yeah, 16 experience is nothing. Whereas if you catch something, you get, like, so much more than that. So I definitely feel like kind of answers that. You got to just catch everything. The battles are almost, like, not even, not even the point. It's not even about the battles. It's about the wild Pokemon. All right. We got this guy here, which is a lure. Ooh, our first lure. See what that does. I think that just increases the chance of finding a rare Pokemon, maybe? A glass bottle of perfume that makes rare Pokemon appear more likely. Okay. How you doing there, little guy? Taking in with the sunlight coming in from the tree branches. I love it. All right, still gotta find me a Bulbasaur. But I guess I could always come back for it, right? All right, let's battle it out, dude. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Well, you know. Trying to get out of this this uh, forest here. Bug catcher Sammy. Metapod. All right, well, if it only has a uh, heart in here, I think I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be honest. I just got to poison it. Maybe I'll switch and twin needle it. Maybe eh, it's level three, man. I feel like poison sting will do a lot. It's only level three. He's got tackle. Ooh, this one's got tackle, dude. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that. All right, a little poison sting action. Didn't score the poison this time. You're gonna knock me out, it's, or weak me out, weaken me down a little bit. A little poison sting here. A poison would be nice to speed things along a little bit. This is an aggressive Metapod though, I gotta be honest, it's a very aggressive Metapod. I did not anticipate to run into a tackling Metapod out here that never wants to get poisoned. But it doesn't have Shed Skin though, because there's no abilities. I have to like remind myself of that. I feel like that's like something that I'm gonna constantly forget is that there's no abilities. So like there's no shield dust, there's no shed skin, there's no compound eyes, nothing, nothing. No moxie, yeah, 17 experience. Beyonce at the six though, and Sammy goes down. You're good at this. Well, thank you. Thank you for the three Pokeballs, good friend. All right, I don't know if there's gonna be a Bulbasaur popping up here. I would like to get one. I would like to get a Bulbasaur. That's a Pidgey. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't get one. Like, I'm really not super concerned. Like I said, I I feel like I'm gonna have to off screen come back. I did not mean to do that. I feel like I'm gonna have to come back in here and train anyway before the gym leader, because there's just no way I'm beating the gym with what I have right now. Like, there's just no way. Like, we're such a low level. Leaving Viridian Forest Pewter City ahead, dude. All right. Let's see what this guy has to say. The higher Pokemon CP is, the higher its combat power is. I hear CP is a value made up of various stats and things combined. Have you noticed the skinny trees in the roadside? They can be chopped down with a secret technique called chop down, I hear. No more HMs, man. Thank goodness. Again, I was talking about those quality of life improvements, and that is definitely one of them. No more HMs. Oh, I wonder if there's new Pokemon over here. Probably not. This is a continuation of Route 2, so it really probably won't be anything new. But here we are in Pewter City, the home of our first gym. Hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. You know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, A-Drive? You could battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely got to try to take him on. Ha! <laughs> Jeez, Darwin. You're ready for a good battle, too. Why? W who wouldn't be? All right, then. You guys are making me want to cheer you guys on, so take these. Five potions from Chase. Thank you, Chase. I, I could use those. I bought you. I bought some with all the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat that gym leader, A-Drive, and you can call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. All right, well, thanks, dude. I appreciate your uh, your pep talk there. That was very nice of you. Wasn't really expecting it, but you should be careful with your money. Don't go blow it in all in one place, which is what I did. I spent every penny I pretty much had on Pokeballs earlier. Need a rant, sit. Yeah, that's like me with my puppy trying to get her to listen. We got a Pokemon in trade. It doesn't really listen. If only we had some gym badges. Pokemon in trades do listen as long as you have enough gym badges. There's actually a misconception too that Pokemon that you like have caught won't listen to you too, but they're all bug catches and the like. Hey, hey what are you trying to say about that? Um, so anyway, if you, you can have like no badges and have your starter be like level 100. It'll still listen to you. 
Uh, at least in the newer games. In the old games, maybe not. But I remember I was shiny hunting in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I had a level like 60, 60 Blaziken before I even took on Roxanne because I was trying to get a Shroomish through Dexnap, and it was it was rough times. Oh, I thought I thought she had a little R on her. Rock Pokemon are weak to grass and water. Team Rockets on Mount at Mount Moon. The guy seems like he's up to no good. I'm trading with the girl next to me. Alrighty. The Pewter City specialty. Pewter Crunchies. They're 500. I guess I'll buy one. What does it do? You got a bag of Pewter Crunchies. What is it? What does it do? Bag. I don't see it. Maybe it goes in medicine. Pewter Crunchies. They can heal all status conditions of a single Pokemon. Okay, so it's like a full heal then. That's cool. All right, so she's trading a Clefairy for a Pikachu. I don't know how, how much I like that deal. There's a lot of Pikachus nearby, so I feel like if she just like kind of applied herself, she would be able to find one, but that's okay. I'm not here to judge. Oh, you got a little Caterpie. You know what I'm doing? Psst. That's right, anyone can tell by looking, and it's hard work too. Psst. What are you doing? No, wait, what are you doing? I, I'm not really sure. You're spraying Repel to keep Pokemon from the flower beds. Got it. Alrighty. Look at this guy with this Geodude out here. No, I did not check out the museum. I'll get, I'll get there. I'm getting there. What about you, sir? Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of a mountain. Dude. Let's go to the Pokemon there, which we really don't need to do. Oh, look at that beautiful Butterfree, eh? This is my sweet little Free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the field. Items in the field. Ooh, like our little friend here. What do you got there, B-Drive? You found a Nana Berry. Well, thank you, B-Drive. You're doing great, little guy. Okay, let's go check out this house. What do we got in here? You got a better chance of catching a Pokemon if you throw it right in the center. It's never a sure thing. They learn new moves, sometimes by TM, of course. And let us go up this way. I don't know if I can beat Brock right now. I think we, oh, I can't go that way because I have to cut. Or chop down, rather. Let's go check out this museum here. Come on, little guy. You could you could do it. I know you're tiny, but eventually you will have wings and fly around, I assure you. All right, what about you? Oh, dear. What am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Could you do me a favor? I want to go to the museum, but my Slowpoke is just refusing to budge. Do you think you can keep it on my dear Slowpoke for a while? Sure. I don't have anything to do. I'm just hanging out. All right, let's see what Slowpoke's got going on. Hey, uh, Slowpoke. Slow. Spent some time chilling with Slowpoke. I feel like I didn't even have to stand here. I honestly think that she could have just kind of, you know, just left it. Thank you for keeping an eye on my dear Slowpoke. Here's, this is for your trouble. A big pearl. That's some money, dude. That's some money. I would love it if you keep an eye on Slowpoke again. You need to find a babysitter, lady. Like, seriously. Or, I don't know, put it in a Pokeball. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? It's 50 bucks for kids? Dude, what happened to education, man? Free education, come on. Please enjoy yourself. All right, let's take a look here. We got a, a Kabuto tops, a Kabuto tops. Yo, look at this Aerodactyl. The bones of a dragon. Various fossils from Mount Moon. This is the ancient Pokemon Aerodactyl. Sick. A space exhibit, ooh. It's a moonstone. What's so special about it? It looks like an ordinary rock to me. What is this? It's a map of the universe. I didn't know that you could put it in a map. It's gonna get her an EV soon. A little spaceship here. Oh my gosh, we're talking about going to Mars. That's crazy. Pieces of a meteor. What is this big poster here? The origin of the universe. I like it. Did I talk to you? Oh, the space exhibit. I wonder if they change it. I doubt it. I think it's always going to be a space exhibit, but that's still pretty cool, though. And I assume if you want to renew a fossil, you would go over there. You have to chop down the tree and go on the other side. That would be my, my best guess, I would say. Okay, let's go take a look at the gym skis. Have you heard of the stories that say Clefairy came from the moon? People started seeing them after the moonstones fell on Mount Moon. All right, here is the gym. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat it, but I suppose we can enter and see what happens. 
I could try to take on some of the trainers. Look at that. We got some spectators out here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hiya. You're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging. It only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There's a few types that have an advantage. You have to use a grass or a water type Pokemon if you want to face the leader. Okay, I don't have one on my party. Uh, I will definitely be able to... You can find one in Pallet Town, really. If I go back to Pallet Town, will they give me a starter? I don't know. But uh, I definitely feel like... What's our party looking like? We are currently 6, 5, and 6. Okay, so there's absolutely no chance in any sort of imagination that I'm going to be able to beat Brock with this team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, do some chaining of some Caterpies. Uh, I'm probably going to run out of Pokeballs pretty soon, but I will go... Chain some Caterpies here for a little bit, and if I find a Shiny, I'll obviously let you guys know on the next episode, but I'm gonna get the team a couple levels up. Um, I would like to evolve my little, uh, I guess I could start it right here so you guys can see me evolve at least my uh, my Shiny here. So let's try it. So here's a Caterpie. So we're gonna get ready here, and bam. So this should give us good experience, like, and hopefully we can evolve into Kakuna, and then I'll, uh, I'll probably do the rest off off screen. Get them close to a drill. Get everyone else, you know, leveled up and stuff. Because I definitely want to see that evolution. Okay, so he's up to level six for Twilight. B drive's almost there as well. I definitely want to see that evolution. I don't know. Oh, Caterpie got added to my party. So that's a one combo. So let's find another Caterpie. Keep our combo going. There's a B drill over there. I'm looking for a Caterpie. Caterpie, Caterpie. There we go. All right. Nice. Get ready, and bueno. See if we catch this thing. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, cool. Easy enough. We caught a Caterpie, and we can obviously use this for candy if we wanted to transfer it. And almost there to the evolution. I want to see the shiny Kakuna, man. I really do. Okay, Caterpie's been added to my party. Don't really need it, but that's okay. It's fine. There's another Caterpie there. I do want to dodge the other stuff. Not a big deal if I run into anything else. It really doesn't matter, but... It just makes life easier. Cool. That should do it. One, two, three. Nice. All right, will we get that evolution I want so badly right now? Come on, evolve for me, buddy. Got some health candy. Yeah, there we go. B drive's about to evolve, my friends. Not too shabby at all. Let's peep it. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, this is hype, dude. First evolution, and it's gonna be shiny. It doesn't get much better than that. Check it out, dude. Kakuna. Looking phenomenal as a shiny. I love it, dude. It's like a lime green color. And it's gonna register to our decks. Kakuna's data will be added to the Pokedex. Nice. I kinda wanna see him like following behind us, too. He learns Harden. All right, let's see him. And I got a catch combo of three. So I'm going to keep that going as well. But look at him. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. He's like hopping behind us. Nice. All right, guys. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode for today. And uh, I'll get the team trained up a little bit for the next gym. And then we should actually be in pretty good shape from there. These Beedrills are fierce, dude. Look at him chasing me down. They see the shiny and they... They want to come after it but thank you guys so much for watching guys i i really appreciate it man hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace